Hey, it's Nathaniel again. Today we're going to take a look at a Bayliner 3587. This is an aft cabin motor yacht with a lowered helm and a helm on the flybridge. It has full canvas, a ton of room inside, twin diesels, and it's priced to sell. Let's go take a look. All right, let's head down below. Number one, let's take a look here from above at the salon. On your starboard side, behind those two glass panels, is the uh, um, electrical control board. A nice um, settee on the starboard side as well. The, uh, there is a, a vacuum um, for this vessel, and it's located below one of those cushions. There's your helm with full controls down here. The dinette is convertible, so that table does drop down. And there is a uh, cushion currently located in the guest cabin uh, to fill this in, a filler cushion, uh, to make a nice size queen berth. This boat could sleep eight uh, quite easily without sticking anybody on the sun deck. And then here is, uh, is the galley, right? Two stainless steel poles. And then over here we have the range. And then uh, the microwave, most used appliance on a vessel. And uh, so yes, uh, three burner electric oven as well. And over here, plenty of storage, plenty of storage below. And more storage down here with some sliding shelves. And even more on the outside here. What do we got there? Ah, for margaritas, a blender. And even more storage for your plates and glass air up here as well. And even more above the fridge. So this does have a, a Norcold refrigerator freezer combo, nice and clean. And also in the salon, uh, we have a stereo. Uh, it's a JVC. I don't know that it has the Bluetooth, uh, but anyways, it does have a 12 disc CD changer. And we'll take a look here at the electrical switches as well. So this boat does have a generator. So here's your generator control um, right there. And then we have our selectors for how much voltage we're getting in, line one, line two, and then generator, which is off right now. And then um, various switches for various things, and your uh, breaker panel for the DC system. Dun, dun, dun. And you can see the voltage for the various batteries on here as well. And you have a uh, water level monitor for, let's see what it shows here. Oh, good, full tank on one. And then, oh, it looks like we may just have one tank on this vessel. So I'll close that up. Everything looks in order there. Let's check out the aft cabin. All right. Nice big queen size bed. This one, an island queen. Right, so it can be approached from the right or the left. Um, and uh, beautifully matches the curtains, the curtain covers. And yes, very nice. Um, the walls are upholstered and in good shape. Uh, nice and clean. I don't see any, you know, interesting additions or holes drilled in this boat. Um, so pretty much kept original. Uh, here's an AC vent. This vessel does have air conditioning throughout. And this here is a, uh, an access panel for the engine room. Uh, there's also another access panel in the guest cabin up front. And you can pull up floorboards, of course, as well. Here is the head. Uh, this boat does have 
uh, manual flush toilets in this head and the forward head. But the nice thing in this Aft Master is, what do we got? A separate shower stall. So you don't have to worry about sitting on the toilet or getting your toilet wet while you're taking a shower. And there we go. There's the vanity, nice and clean. we go and even more storage down here below this boat has a ton of storage so oh and also back here we have access as well um, to the shower sump trim tab controls rudders anyway so good access here to your running gear uh, from in this aft cabin so that's very nice uh, the boat also just had uh, new shaft seals put on recently but we do have a separate stereo in the aft cabin uh, from the rest of the boat let's check out the forward two staterooms this boat is a three stateroom vessel so first off though here's the forward head this is a wet head, right? So we've got a curtain here um, and your shower pulls out from the faucet. There's your toilet. There I am. Nice little skylight, get a little bit of light in, natural light in here. And uh, very nice and tidy. There's that. And now we have, oh man, there's a lot of doors. Okay, which door shall we try first? You know what? Let's go into the smaller guest cabin. You could call this a mid-berth. So um, this is, you know, that, that sort of hidden lower berth um, right here. So that's an extra cushion for up on the flybridge or, or for the bow. And then um, this brown cushion is the filler cushion for the uh, dinette. And there's that. And then you also have access to the engine room. Uh, to that port motor, front side of that port motor, um, right there. Uh, behind this door, let's go ahead and close that. And so this can be closed off completely. Now I'm stuck in a box um, in this guest room and a nice, very large hanging locker um, here on the port side. And we also do have an air conditioning vent as well. Now, oh, let's turn on the light. There we go, the lights are on. So this is your forward, um, well not quite a V-berth, but your forward stateroom, right? A little seating area off to port. A little bit of storage under there as well. And two nice big drawers for this forward stateroom. A couple life jackets. We've got a classic here. Uh, DVD player TV. Plenty of lighting, nice open feel, has about six foot three inches of headroom in here. Um, air conditioning vents as well. And uh, yeah, it's a great space. I very much enjoy this. And then if you open that up, then you have even more space where you can monitor your children um, if, if you need to do that. All right. Here is the salon from up front. Here's your helm. Here's your galley. There's your dinette. And there's your view forward. From the helm, if I just take a seat here. I have great visibility. Honestly, I could easily dock from here without having to think too much about anything. There's really a lot of great open space here. I mean, I, I just really have great visibility, especially for an aft cabin motor yacht. Um, digging it. And full controls down here as well. In fact, a couple more, a couple more rockers than up top. And um, right. 
trim tab controls, throttle shifter, high nautic hydraulic steering, and again 420 hours on these these Cummins diesels. Alright, here's the vessel from the bow. Um, up top on the flybridge just a couple years ago uh, that is a hard polycarbonate windshield on the flybridge cover. Hard polycarbonate all the way around um, on the flybridge. Uh, we do have soft more flexible eyes and glass, which was done a few years before that, around the sun deck. Let's walk around here and take a look. There she is, Bayliner 3587. All right, let's head back here. Come to the fully enclosed sun deck. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. All right, check it out. So this is uh, Isinglass, true Isinglass, flexible enough to roll up. Um, it's got a few years on it, but honestly, it's in good shape because this boat has uh, canvas covers uh, for every single one of these panels of Isinglass. A little bit of cloudiness on this side, but not much. And um, so these have been covered and protected from the elements. They're not stiff or cracking. Uh, like you might expect from some older eyes and glass. All right. Check it out. But this space here, you know, runs the full, full beam of the boat. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and a half ish feet um, wide. And then from, from the back of the deck to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight feet from the companionway to the back here. So an eight by 11 foot area. Um, it does have this, this storage box, dock box, which random stuff in there, cleaning supplies. And um, yeah, anyways, a lot, of, a lot of space on this boat. I mean, this is a a slider to get down below. Now, let's go up these one, two, three, four easy steps up here to the flybridge. Again, like I said, this is that rigid polycarbonate. Um, and this is all like in great, in great shape. It's, it's a newer one, just a couple years old. Um, but check out this flybridge. Um, up here, you've got, looks like the original Bayliner cushions. Uh, they're actually uh, quite, quite supple. I don't see like the standard like burnt edges you see on vinyl that's been around for a little while. Same thing on these seats. Um, little discoloration on the armrests that the cleaner wasn't able to get off, but real, really nice and supple. Um, and there is, you know, some some discoloration on this fabric portion. Um, I don't know if that would come out with a good scrubbing. Uh, down here, you got a standard Horizon uh, VHF, and then your helm. Let's take a look here at the helm. Uh, so, um, your standard switches here, horn blowers, bilge pump, bilge pump, bilge pump, uh, nav lights, anchor lights, instrument lights, accessories, um, we see an hour meter here as well on starboard 420.2. Then we have a volt meter, uh, oil pressure, temperature, RPMs, RPM, tech, two tachometers, of course, and then mirrored over here as well. And then an hour meter of 420.3 on the left. So low hours on these Cummins motors. And, and then here are your controls. And here's the Garmin. I'm not sure I have the power on for this. I'm it hooked up. I hooked up the power, but I might not have to flip the switch down below. 
Um, but anyways, that's a 3010C GPS map, and uh, it is um, just nav, just nav in depth. We don't have um, radar on this vessel, right? So there's the Garmin, there's the GPS antenna, and an all-around light up there. And you got your big sun deck here. I guess you could throw a loungy chair up or, or two up here if you wanted to. Um, yeah. All right. Let's take a look at that helm again from a distance. Looking good. Thanks for taking a look with me at this Bayliner 3587 aft cabin motor yacht. Uh, the little brother of the Bayliner 4087. Uh, this vessel is every bit as big in the interior, but doesn't have a cockpit on the back. Uh, she has twin diesel motors, air conditioning, a generator, a lot of space above decks uh, that's all covered by canvas, and macrolon, and Isinglass. And, uh, and the boat's running great. Please give me a call. 619-313-3664 to come take a look at this boat today. I don't think it's going to last long.